Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again, and it's time to go hoard up. Are you guys ready? I know I sure am. Victor Crowley is one of the main movies that comes out today, along with uh, Bad Mom's Christmas. It's not a big, huge release week, but I'm going to be heading on out there to the usual spots today to see what kind of other things come out, see if anything special uh, is on sale. And I'm also going to have, of course, some movie DVD and Blu-ray reviews at the end of this video with my mom also, so stay tuned for that. But guys, if you haven't seen it yet, check out out my last two videos I made. I One, I went to an 80s prom party with my friend Michael Ray Bauer. Uh, it was super crazy and fun. I have a link for it in the description box of this video. And also, I went on over to a movie premiere a few days ago all, you know, uh, in Beverly Hills, and I got to meet and hang out with uh, Thomas Ian Nicholas, the kid from Rookie of the Year and American Pie, and also Andrew Keegan uh, from 10 Things I Hate About You and Camp Nowhere. Also, Mr. Belding from Saved by the Bell. Make sure you guys check out that video. Link for it down below in the description box if you guys want to see it and check it out. Got to have a beer with Thomas Ian Nicholas himself. So make sure you guys check out those videos. Links down below. But right now, let's get on out there and see what kind of fun movies there are to find. Well, guys, at my first destination of the day the local swap meet but uh, it doesn't look like any ticket takers are here so haha <laughs> am I getting in for free today I'm getting in for free I think I'm getting in for free well guys let's walk around and see if we can find some cool deals I was lying it's it's free on Tuesdays hmm Pokemon cards eh, I'll pass Ooh, DVDs let's see what they got over here DVD wise I haven't seen this one in a while Showtime. I think I remember liking that one back in the day. Well, guys, it seems like I showed up a little bit late. People are starting to pack up their uh, things and the little stands and everything and heading on out of here. But hopefully I can find maybe some something last minute before I, uh, you know, head on out of here. But I see a big table full of DVDs, so let's see what they got over here, if anything special. Ooh, do I see Blue Rizzles? Do I see Blue Rizzles? Oh, my friend Lewis got me the steel book. Of, uh, of this one recently for Christmas or you know a late Christmas gift but hey well, let's see how if we can find anything cool there's some full moon stuff in here that that's always kind of cool even though I'm not the biggest full moon fan on the planet but hey you never know wait what's this oh that is a, that's another full moon one cannibal women has anybody ever seen this one before two dollars each or two for five transfers three I think I've only ever seen the first Transfers movie. I know my friend Jose Prendes is like one of his, you know, favorite things which are the Transfers movies. Castle Freak. That's... Did I see this? I do... Is this... I can't remember if I have this one on Blu-ray or not. Well, that was kind of cool. Coming across a movie booth that had like a lot of like full moon stuff. I don't want to just get them because I think I may or may not already have them. And I don't, you know, there's no return policies over here at the swap meet. Came across a cool little toy booth over here, guys. They have like... Goldar and everything over here, Squat and Babu and everything, and even the Sphinx over here. Um, how much is Squat, Babu, and um, I have 25 on all of them for all of them. Okay, well, guys, if you want a tomahawk, you can come on over to my local swap me get a tomahawk. I might, I was thinking about getting one of these uh, for Gabriel for like his birthday or something, but at the same time, if I gave it to him, he'll probably throw it at me. At my next destination of the day, the local Walmart. Let's head on in there, see if they have anything cool. Well guys, over here at Walmart right now, taking a look at some of the new releases that came out today. Bad Mom's Christmas. I, I, I may or may not pick this one up sooner or later. Uh, Batman uh, Gotham Gasland, uh, Gaslight uh, came out today. Uh, I like some of these uh, Warner Brothers animated Batman or animated DC movies every once in a while. Uh, you know, they're pretty, they're pretty cool sometimes. And also, um, only the Brave came out today with uh, Josh Brolin. Uh, let me know down below if this one's worth watching or anything like that. So, you know, about firemen, you know, firefighters and different things like that. And uh, was 24 Hours to Live today? Because I got a review copy of this a while ago. I talked about it in my last um, uh, hoarding up video and stuff. I, I kind of enjoyed this one. I'm not seeing the main one that I'm looking for today that was supposed to come out. I see a Woody, the Woody Woodpecker movie, which I, I didn't really know anything about this one until like last week or something, but a live action Woody Woodpecker movie. I remember liking uh, Woody Woodpecker as a character when I was a kid back in the day, but a Woody Woodpecker movie, but I believe this other one came out today called uh, 
uh, keep, uh, keep watch, keep watching. It was just a new horror film, and the uh, Super Superbicon, which was actually cool, it was uh, written by the the Coen Brothers. But guys, I don't see the movie that I'm looking for that I was that I thought came out today over here, which is Victor Crowley. But I'm still looking around the sections over here. Well, I'm over here in the the section right now over here, and it looks like some of the movies came out today, like Jackie Chan Presents, uh, Reset, a new uh, martial art movie or action film called Kill Order. I've never heard of this one before, but I know this one was today because I don't remember seeing that one in stores. But hey, 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 check this out, man. Living Among Us is out now uh, on DVD. This is the, the, the film I went to the premiere of a couple days ago with the actors from the film, Andrew Keegan, and of course, you know, um, Thomas Ian Nicholas from Rookie of the Year. I was talking about this uh, at the beginning of this video. If you guys haven't seen the video I made going to the premiere of this one, definitely do so. It's actually a really fun, uh, really cool movie. Movie. And I was really, I'm really surprised that it's out now. I don't think it was supposed to come out until like the 18th or something like that. And I thought it was being put out by Sony, but it doesn't look like it's a, it's being put out by Sony from the back over here. But look, looky, looky what I see right here. Victor Crowley, man, on Blu-ray, baby. Oh, yeah. And also, I believe Day of the Dead uh, Bloodline uh, came out today. This is, a, you know, the new reimagining of uh, the Day of the Dead movie. I talked about this one in my last Hoarding Up video. If you want to see my review of that one, uh, check out my, my last Hoarding Up video if you want to see that. But I'm just really happy, man, living among, living among us. Definitely get this one, guys. Really, really worth watching and can't wait to see Victor Crowley, baby. At my next stop of the day, the local Best Buy. Let's head on in there, see if they have anything cool. All right, guys, I'm Best Buy right now, taking a look and see what they have over here. They have the DVD and Blu-ray of Only the Brave uh, over here. They also have that Batman uh, Gotham by Gaslam uh, Gaslight over here. And they look like they have like their own little exclusive version over here that comes with like a graphic novel. Uh, inside here, it's like a little bit of a thicker packaging uh, right here. But guys, let me know down below if you, when you guys get it and watch it, if it's uh, you know any good or worth worth getting. And of course, they have the Day of the Dead, uh, you know, uh, Bloodline Blu-ray over here, along with Extraordinary Mission right here, which I don't even really know what that one was. I don't remember seeing that one on the side. It's put out by uh, Cinedime uh, Home Entertainment. And of course, uh, Best Buy has their Victor Crowley over here. Uh, nothing different, it's just the, you know, the uh, you know, Blu-ray DVD combo pack like it was over at uh, you know, uh, Walmart and stuff, but I just have to get this one, man. Support Felissa Rose, you know, who's a friend of Tiffany Shepis and everything like that, Adam Green. But, you know, I'm gonna be going to like a special event uh, to, uh, about this movie really, really soon. I'll probably make a video there. But yeah, guys, that's all I'm really seeing over here at Best Buy this week with just those titles I showed you up front, that and of course, Bad Mom's Christmas. But I found something out a couple of days ago, uh, reading up online that Best Buy may be stop, they, they may stop uh, carrying physical CDs uh, in like in the next month or two, uh, from what I heard. Uh, let me know down below if that's really true or not, because that's probably not a good sign for when it comes to physical media like Blu-rays and DVDs, you know? But uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully Blu-rays and DVDs don't go away like that, but it's gonna happen sooner or later. Wait a minute, guys, wait a minute. I'm still in Best Buy right now in the discount section over here, and I came across a movie I thought was out of print, but I guess it's not anymore, and that is Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead. You can get them over here at Best Buy, the DVDs, for uh, $3.99. If you guys have never seen this movie before, I highly recommend uh, you get this one. Hopefully one day we'll get a Blu-ray release, but it's an HBO movie, so who knows if, that is, if that's ever gonna happen, but I, I remember I have that old Snapper Case version of this on uh, DVD at home, but check out your local Best Buys, man. Don't tell them. Don't tell mom the babysitter's dead. Christina Applegate. Yay, yay. Well, guys, we're coming down to the end of this video right here. I'm about to show you guys uh, what I hoarded up on today before I head on home for some DVD and Blu-ray reviews. The only two things I picked up today was, uh, of course, Victor Crowley, uh, the Blu-ray DVD combo pack right here, the fourth installment of the Hatchet franchise. I may be going to a special event uh, coming up when it comes to this, so stay tuned for a video for that if I end up going and doing so. And the other movie I picked up was super cool to find out uh, that came out today was Living Among Us. I think Walmart may or may not have put that out uh, early or you know so, or something. I'm not exactly sure, but this is the movie uh, I went to the premiere of a couple days ago. If you guys want to see the video I made there, like I said, with Thomas Ian Nicholas from Rookie of the Year, Andrew Keegan, Mr. Belding from Saved by the Bell, Bai Ling from uh, you know the Crow movie, uh, from from the Crow and the, and the Crank. Crank 2 and stuff, definitely check out the video down below. But if you guys love found footage films uh, and vampires, 
and with, you know, with good acting in it, uh, definitely get this one at your local Walmart. Support this film. It was only $9.96 over there, so I recommend you guys check this one out. But that's all I picked up today uh, for this hoarding up video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let's head on home for some DVD and Blu-ray reviews. Hi, it's me again. I have just two things today. Um, one is a movie, one is an old TV show. Uh, the first one I'd like to show you is a movie uh, called Same Kind of Different as Me. And it stars uh, Greg Kinnear, Renee Zellweger, John Voight, and then I hope I don't pronounce this man's name wrong because he was very, very good. Dijamon Hounsou. Anyway, it's a, uh, I really liked it. It's an inspiring movie. It's based on a true story uh, regarding an art dealer and his, his family who um, come across basically a homeless drifter and how their lives change because of it. I could go into detail about the movie, but there's no point because then I would end up telling you the movie and you wouldn't be, <laughs> you wouldn't take a look at it. Uh, the actors are terrific. Uh, everyone in it is really, really good. Um, I know I always say I like things and I very rarely say I don't, but this was really, really good. So uh, if you like, you know, um, you know, based on true story type movies, you'd like this one. So this is from uh, Paramount, so pick it up if you'd like. And the last thing I have to show you is from Time Life. And um, when I first saw it, I thought, oh no, because I hate, you know, dated stuff. But it turned out to be really cool. Uh, it's um, the Jackie Gleason show, and it says in color. And, um, what they have on here are four episodes, basically, that were never seen again after they aired. And this is when Jackie Gleason uh, did his show from Miami Beach, Florida. And uh, I really enjoyed it. Of course, they pretty much always kept the Honeymooners sketch in the show. So it's, it's you know, with our Carney, but of course the women are different than the actual Honeymooners show. And... I really found myself liking it. I thought, oh gosh, you know, back in the 60s, it's going to be dated comedy and kind of, uh, you know, because you've got people like Milton Berle, Phil Silvers, Red Buttons, Nipsey Russell, all these people. But it wasn't. It was, <laughs> I'd forgotten how funny some of these people really are. And especially the episode with George Carlin. Oh my God. It's like you don't even recognize him. He was so young then. So young, and he's dressed in a suit, and his hair's combed and everything, and I'm just, it's not at all what he ended up to be, but you can see from the sketch in the show, or, uh, kind of where he, you know, was headed, you know, how he, you know, political awareness and all this kind of stuff that he would always do. Um, it, oddly enough, um, even you young people, even though you know Jackie Gleason, who's that? <laughs> Uh, you might want to take a look at this from Time Life. It's really pretty good. It shows you some of the old uh, great comedians. And uh, I really liked it, surprisingly. So if you like Jackie Gleason or you don't even know who he is, pick it up. <laughs> you might like it. Thanks. Well, thanks, Mom, for your reviews. Uh, now moving on to mine. I have uh, four here to talk to you guys about today. Uh, the first one up over here is from uh, Era Video US, and that is Herschel Gordon Lewis's classic, The Gruesome Twosome, here on Blu-ray. Uh, if you guys don't know this movie, uh, it's uh, one of those films. It's about uh, these two crazy killers that live in the middle of kind of like a nowhere kind of town. You know, like you know, population like 500, you know, kind of town. And it's about these college kids. Uh, that are getting pretty much picked off uh, one by one and scalped, you know, by these two crazy uh, psycho killers that, like, you know, own a wig shop and everything like that, and just the craziness that happens. Uh, if you guys don't know Gert Gordon Lewis, Herschel Gordon Lewis, uh, he's known as the godfather of gore. He's pretty much the guy who created the, the splatter the splatter films uh, back in like the 50s and 60s and things, and this is the first time, I, or not the first time, but you know, this is the first time you get this uh, movie uh, on on Blu-ray, you know, in a single release. Uh, I've been a big fan of Herschel Gordon Lewis. I even have his uh, Feast 
you know, box set here, which I'm scared to open because I think it might be worth something someday and everything. And plus, I don't, I don't have a whole bunch of time uh, these days, but I've been a big fan of his. I even got to interview him uh, years ago at a Fangoria Weekend of Horror. And this version of the film, of this version of the film is in this box set right here, which is cool because it comes in this big cereal box and everything. But uh, on this Blu-ray right here, you get uh, some commentaries, uh, tracks by Herschel Gordon Lewis, who sadly passed away now, but he recorded commentary tracks for this uh, and everything. And, um, some behind-the-scenes special featurettes on here, and you also get a bonus movie on here called uh, "The Taste of Blood" uh, as as a bonus feature on here. So you get a real gruesome twosome uh, in this set right here. So if you're a fan of uh, Herschel Gordon Lewis, just want to let you guys all know that the standard uh, release of the film is by itself now out, out now on Blu-ray. And uh, next up over here uh, from Lionsgate Home Entertainment is a film I, I was really interested in checking out, but at the same time knowing why the company was making it only to try to keep the rights to it, to try to keep the rights to the name, and that is uh, Hellraiser Judgment. And this one right here is directed by, uh, I forgot how to say his name again, uh, Gary J. Tuncliffe. I believe he was the writer of the last Hellraiser movie, Hellraiser Revelations, and he might have been like the special, I think he was the special effects artist on a couple of the other uh, Hellraiser movies. He's like a really big fan, you know, of this franchise, and it's his first time, you know, getting a crack at the whip of actually directing uh, one of the Hellraiser movies. And, uh, you know, it's pretty, it's, it's, it's pretty much about these detectives uh, in this town that are trying to, you know, find the, these, these, the serial killer that's going around killing people, and, you know, they're getting together trying to figure out what, what the hell's going on, and, you know, come to find out, it's how, you know, it's Pinhead and the goddamn Cenobites and different things like that. But you have to, you know, watch the movie to find out how it all unfolds. But people want to know, is it good? Is it worth watching? Because the last Hellraiser revelation uh, wasn't the greatest one in the franchise. But I'm not going to lie to me, the best ones in the franchise are the first three. Or at least the first two, the second one being my favorite one. When uh, when they're in like, you know the whole you know hell you know the Pinhead's world and everything, I just love that one. And they kind of gradually went downhill. But I gotta say, enjoyment factor. This one was a little bit better than the previous one, Hellraiser Revelation, and everything. But my uh, friend of mine here, John Gulliger, had a crazy uh, you know fun part in this movie. Uh, he's a guy that directed The Feast. The Feast movies, he was on Project Greenlight, uh, you know, TV show back in the day about, you know, how to make a movie and stuff like that. He's always, he's always really cool. He uh, had a nice little, you know, fun part in here. But if you guys like the Hellraiser movies, you might dig this one. It's not amazing by any means, and it does take a while before you see Pinhead and stuff like that in this one, just to let you guys know. Uh, but on this Blu-ray release, we get some deleted scenes, extended scenes, and a gag reel on here. But, yeah, just want to let you guys all know about Hellraiser uh, Judgment uh, is uh, now on Blu-ray, baby. And next up over here uh, from uh, HBO Entertainment is a, a James Franco TV show. Also stars uh, Maggie Gyllenhaal, and that is The Deuce. Uh, the complete first season here on uh, Blu-ray. And this is a show that takes place uh, in the 70s in New York. Uh, you know, and it kind of follows like the, you know, how how porno became to be. You know, pornography came to be with like, you know, uh, people, you know, uh, women of the night on the street selling themselves. Um, and uh, James, in, the, in the show, James Franco plays this guy who, li you know, who, uh, who works at this restaurant at the bar and everything like that. And, um... You know, trying to, you know, support his family and everything. And then Maggie Gyllenhaal ha has her character as a, a lady of the night, uh, you know, uh, that's always being pursued by pimps that are trying to, you know, you know, take her on. And she's like, I can do it myself. You know, I can do it myself. And it just pretty much shows how gritty and, you know, sh how... How, how it kind of sort of was in New York in the 70s. Uh, I only watched a handful of episodes so far, so I don't want to get in uh, too detail or anything like that, but I really kind of dig the vibe of the show so far. You know what I mean? I only watched, what, like three, you know, three episodes. Uh, it's, it's, I'm, only, I'm only three episodes in, and I'm kind of digging the whole, you know, style and look. I always kind of like the 70s look. You know what I mean? That in the 80s. 80s is the, is the best. If you guys haven't seen that video I made at the 80s party, link in the description. But uh, if you guys uh, like the actors that are in here, I really highly uh, suggest this. I'm still got to, you know, finish it and everything, but... I like it. The Deuce, uh, the complete first season here on Blu-ray, explores, you know, uh, you know, hook, you know, how it was, how it is to be a lady of the night, and you know how it is to be, you know, working at a bar, and how everything gets kind of intertwined in a way. And uh, next up over here from Paramount Home Entertainment, and last up for today is uh, Broad City season four. Uh, this is one of my 
probably my one of my favorite shows that's on Comedy Central right now. Uh, Workaholics was my favorite, but that's that show ended. And I don't know if this one's still going or or not. But uh, it's a, it's about these you know uh, two two best friends that live in New York, uh, Alana and Abby, and uh, and just the little hijinks that they get into. You know, you know, every from episode to episode, it's just it's just really kind of. You know, it's pretty much workaholics, but with women. But like, I or I think I like this one a little bit more uh, than workaholics in a way, because just because these these ladies are just absolutely funny. You know what I mean? Like every every episode I watch, I find myself laughing at this like the stupidest stuff. You know what I mean? I I, I love stupid humor. You know, toilet humor and stuff like that. And that that's you guys know that that's me. And uh, I, I I just love this show, and I, I hope it just keeps going and going and everything like that. I know it's not like cin a cinematic masterpiece. Or anything, you know, of a show kind of like how this one's shot, like all cinematic and everything. But like this one, this one is just like is is the, is the kind of stuff I like to I like to watch and enjoy, especially after a long day of work, if you know what I mean. But guys, that's all I have the show and talk to you guys about today. Thank you so much uh, for joining me on this adventure, and uh, give this video a thumbs up. Follow me on social media. Links down below to my Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And I'll see you guys all next time. Bye bye.